There have been many memorable foes and villains throughout the Zelda series, some of which have enjoyed more screen time than others. The Wind Waker saw the return of many old foes, some of which were reimagined to fit the game's ambitious cel-shaded aesthetic. Others were completely new enemies making their debut, though almost all of these new monsters found in the Wind Waker would be seen in later installments. While nearly all of the Wind Waker's enemies were memorable, there's one that has something truly special about it. First introduced in Majora's Mask, the Choo Choo is a gelatinous blob with a seemingly innocent grin. They come in various colors, though they typically aren't that much of a menace to young Link. In The Wind Waker, the enemy was redesigned with a more comical appearance, and they were more numerous than ever. They're one of the most common enemies you encounter in the game, but it's not their new look or superfluous population that we're interested in. Rather, it's the sound these creatures make. It may sound like gibberish at first, but there's something odd about their audio clip. If you take their sound effect, reverse it, and slow down the playback, you'll actually hear two Japanese men having an argument. If you know Japanese, you can actually understand some of what the two men are saying. Using discernible sound clips and altering the playback to make it sound like gibberish is actually a common tactic employed by the developers. In Twilight Princess, Midna's seemingly nonsensical chatter is actually cut up clips of English sentences. When her audio was finally extracted and adjusted, fans were able to make out several phrases. Which one will it be? Have you made up your mind? I'll take you there with my power. There's also speculation that Fi's voice work in Skyward Sword might also have been handled in a similar fashion, but it's yet to be unscrambled. <laughs> Nintendo has also extended this audio trick to more than just voice work, too. One of the most well-known examples is the song Ballad of the Goddess from Skyward Sword, which is actually Zelda's lullaby in reverse. first pointed out shortly after the release of the GDC 2011 trailer for the game. Then, only a few years later, Nintendo did the exact same thing with the track for Low Rule Castle, first introduced in a trailer for A Link Between Worlds for the 3DS. When played in reverse, it's actually a version of the classic Hyrule Castle theme. Perhaps Nintendo has something similar planned for some of the new music for the upcoming Zelda for Wii U. Only time will tell.